Welcome back, Expresso family. Oh, it was only two minutes, but it felt so long. We missed you. And this is why we bring you delicious gifts. I am talking about the fact that we are not just going to be getting to know this king a little bit better. We're going to be actually getting his new music offering right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. He is someone who is no stranger to your screen. No, not at all, because he is a TV presenter. He is an artist. He is a voice of artist. He does it all and he does it with such class and honesty and truly. He is someone that if you did not know him already, then my love, you're going to be so glad that we get to know him today. I am talking about a king who is also a diabetes activist. Everybody, please welcome to Expresso. It is none other than Tepo Hausa Musese. <laughs> ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, man. Hello, sir. Dope intro, uh, man. You're I mean, far too kind. Oh, please. It's what you've been doing over the last 21 years. Yeah, uh, man. You know, when you think about it that way, you know, every time I hear somebody tell, talk about the work that we've done, mm -hmm. you know, it's times like that when I get to realize that it was not by my strength to have sustained and been in the industry for that long a time. So, and you speak with that wisdom when I, when I, <laughs> I can hear it, I can hear it. But tell us, Hausa, yeah. I mean, 21 years, yeah. where did this all begin for you? Sure, for me, it began at school, mm. uh, prim primary school. You see, I was one of those people that were that always knew what I wanted to do with my life. Come on. Being an entertainer. And attribute to that uh, as being a success yeah. is all the people like Nkulele Lokshin and Elokshin, uh, there was always that support structure that I had from not only my parents, mm. but also my neighbors and whatnot, because we would, the kids would all go to similar schools, especially mm. when we started going to multiracial schools after 94. Yes. And we would obviously participate in cultural mural activities, drama, uh, choir, being in the choir and all these things. And you were and just killing all of them. All of them. I and, love and, that. And, and, and the support that the neighbors, that I would get from the neighbors coming to the schools to watch mm. the plays. And after, then after saying that you're destined for greatness, that wow. stuck with me and I've kept it with me till today. Can I please tell you, I always tell people that there's such power in the words that people speak into your life, especially when you're young, right? Absolutely. It's Absolutely. incredible. Absolutely. But I mean, of course you have those words that have kept you going over the last couple of years and the last two decades, killing it here in the, in the <laughs> entertainment industry. But also being a part of the industry means that you need to have discipline. Absolutely. But where did that come from for you? I think uh, uh, discipline came with people that were assigned to be on this mission with me. Okay. You know, I think people that come into your life, they are not there in vain. Sure. They are there to fulfill a certain purpose so that you can fulfill your purpose mm. as well. So the mm -hmm. likes of Bokabelo being in the same space as them, they were at a point in their careers when they had, where they had learned so much, made mistakes, yeah. and they were imparting uh, knowledge on what to do and how to uh, uh, conduct yourself in Aww. this industry. And yeah. for me, that was the blessing. Having all those people as the beacon of hope and light just to guide me in the right direction. And the people who keep you accountable as well. Absolutely. I love that. Yeah. I hope you're doing it for other people now, Hausa. I have to. Come because on. Because we got to carry on tradition, right? Yes. Otherwise, it would be like a regressing situation. Come on. And like I said in the beginning, you are someone who does it all and you do it so excellently. So I'm going to put you on the spot very quickly. Yeah. Out of all the things that you do, which one do you love most? You, I guess that's not a uh -uh, fair one. How's that? Come on, that's come on. That's not a fair one. How's that, please? Because each, 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 each thing that I do is a discipline and it yes. requires a certain amount of time and effort and dedication. So I'm passionate about all of them equivalently, but I'm a musician at heart. And oh, come I on. Yeah. I love that. And I always say, in my own opinion, I think God, his, you guys are his favorite. How do you it's, just come up with music out of nowhere? <laughs> it's crazy, it's right? It's crazy. It is, it, music is a spirit, man. It like it, it, it doesn't, you don't just make music right there and then. Yeah. You know, it has to come to you. And when people relate to you, it just shows with the time that you were making that music mm. was a time that was preset 
before even your time. I love that. And something else I also really love though, Hauser, is the fact that you are a diabetes activist. Yes. Speak to us about that because for anyone out there who doesn't know possibly, you know, what that means for yeah. you to just be on the forefront in terms of that. What does it mean for you? I think saying the word being an activist just puts me on a different realm where it's like I'm uh, with the doctors and all those people <laughs> yes. and the specialists. Yes. But really, I'm somebody that's been living with this condition for over 20 years. Mm. And I am serving as a beacon of hope to say, you know, 20 years ago, the doctors would tell me that I might experience problems. I won't live that long a time because of the complications that come with diabetes. Sure. 20 years later, I'm still here. And me, mm. say you saying I'm an activist, perhaps that's what I'm doing just by living and having this conversation and saying, if I can uh, manage to live with diabetes for that long a mm. time, even many other people that are newly diagnosed, you know, must never give up and throw in the towel and think, but, you know, this is a death sentence. 100%. Not, and thank you for that, Hauser, because it's such a beautiful thing. Yeah. But now, before we let you go and get ready, I yeah. need to ask you very quickly, you got a new song out. Yes. Thank God it's Friday. <laughs> Please tell us about that. Oh, man, I'm excited about Thank God it's Friday because we're releasing the music video shortly. Mm -hmm. We recorded in December. Um, I'm collaborating with the likes of Ashla and Pacey seen these are two new amazing artists sure. and you know for me it's about Africa being mm. the content right mm. and exploiting that the world is looking to us yeah. for content and we carry the culture and Facts? why not express that in the arts you know I've got Paisin Paisin is a Nigerian artist and yeah. he gives his interpretation of what music is to him. Sure. Uh, Ashla is South African. She's from uh, Soweto, like myself. Mm. and But she's had the privilege of working overseas as well. So now she brought that to the table. And that's why we have, thank God it's Friday today. And how it came to be is also a long story. We can talk until the show years, goes how's on. I, and yet I yeah. talk again. Young you ass. Know, <laughs> yes, but, but we love it because it allows you to tell the stories that you do in the way that you do. And also... I love, thank God, it's Friday. Awesome. And I can't wait for you to give it to us. And yeah. Expresso family, you need to make sure that you stick around because it is still going to be such a beautiful time right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. For now, though, apparently Graham's cooking up something in the kitchen. Graham, what's up? It's my Feel Good Breakfast show. Listen, when we talk about what it is that is happening here in the Johannesburg studio, it is a vibe and a half. It is what we asked for. And this is why we brought in some of the big guns, okay? People that have been doing this for a very long time, making sure that the weekend is indeed what it needs to be. So, thank God it's Friday. That is the name of the track that we have from these three beautiful humans. Everybody, please make some noise for none other than Hauser, Ashla, and Pacey. Hey, hey. Happy Friday, everybody. Kiss, uh, okay. Thank God it's Friday. Tell my wife we out tonight. I'll never let you be a say, screw Doing this my way. I'm the love and tell her feel so nice. Doing this all day. All day. All day. Now we about to go loco. I don't want to have a party solo. For no good, but now we go loco. Punch 
drunk love that you be for the red, red wine. Thank God it's Friday. feeling local after these three just took us on a ride. This is what we're talking about when we say we take you into the weekend the best way right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Right about now though, you know that Graham and Carl have us feeling all sorts of good as well and they're standing by in the lounge. What's happening, gents? <laughs> 